Hello everyone, this is Hey Rotmania. Welcome to a new playthrough of Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past, for the Nintendo 3DS. I now have a new 3DS. That's the model name, New 3DS. With a 3DS capture card installed. The Big Three of Dragon Quest. One lone island in the world, Estard. And here's Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past. Took them three whole years to localize this. Thankfully, it seems they won't be doing that for Dragon Quest XI. Now let's get started on the longest game in the series. New adventure, yes. And I'll name my hero Davalos. There we go. Davalos. Another overview of Estard. There's the castle and castle town. Ooh, what is that? A small out of the way place. Prince Kiefer. Right, you know the drill, Davalos. Keep your mouth shut about this place, all right? Well, sure. If anyone up at the castle knew we were sneaking in here, we'd be for the high jump. Why is that? Not that I am scared or anything. It's just there's stuff about this island we're not supposed to know, and I need to find out the truth. We're meant to believe this is the only island in the world. Ha! That's a load of rubbish, and we both know it does seem a bit incredulous. Okay, same as always. Let's shove the stone back into place and get home. On my count. One, two, push. Looks like a small fishing village. And there's Maribel. So that's how it's going to be, is it? You're still not going to tell me what you're up to. Oh, maybe eventually. Well, I don't care anyway, because I'm not going to waste my breath asking you again. But you haven't heard the last of this. Interesting. I'm going to find out what you're plotting, and I'm going to tell everyone. So there. You do that. Oh, I almost forgot. Tomorrow's the day of the pilchard harvest. I'd better be getting off to bed. And so had you. It only comes around once a year, you know. See you later, Mr. Mysterious. Later, Maribel. Always a pleasure. So, now we're in control of the protagonist. Obviously, starts at level one. The Fisherman's Son. 
no spells, no abilities, but that will change. And a group status screen. For items, Davalos just has some plain clothes. Nothing else. No magic. Info. We can view the recent developments. Maribel has found out about Davalos and Kiefer's secret. But despite her dogged questioning, Davalos manages to avoid giving the game away. With the annual pilchard harvest due to take place tomorrow, Maribel tells Davalos to head home and get some sleep. And the story so far? We can catch up on story events. Prologue. Our adventure begins on the small island of Estard. It's the only island in the world, and it is surrounded by oceans that stretch as far as the eye can see. Two young men, born and raised there, are beginning to tire of the dull, peaceful life it has to offer, when one day they find an abandoned ship in rather poor condition. Is there really nothing out there? Perhaps if they can repair the ship, our heroes might be able to go and see for themselves. Little do they know that their curiosity is about to lead them on the first steps of an epic journey to uncover the deepest secrets of their world. And miscellaneous might turn down the music just a tad. All right. You can swing the camera around with the left and right shoulder buttons. Ah, three gold coins, right next to the house. A total of three gold. Hello, kitty. Meow. The door appears to be locked from the other side. No getting in. Wandering around outside the village at night probably isn't too sensible. Ah, a medicinal herb. Basic curative item. Restores a little of one party member's HP. And here on the back of the church, we can examine this spot to get ten gold. Total of 13 so far. Anyone inside the church? Hello, nun. What are you doing out at this hour, child? You haven't forgotten where your house is, have you? It's over to the west of the village. Now off you go. Your poor mother will be worried about you. Ah, oh, hello, young Davalos. You're back again to ask me what lies beyond the ocean, I suppose. Sure. Well, it's only natural for a young man to be curious. I was the same when I was your age. I used to wonder what else could be out there. It was pretty much all I thought about, in fact. So one day I decided I'd go and see for myself, and off I paddled in a little boat. And do you know what I found? Nothing at all, though I rode and rode till I was blue in the face. Just ocean and more ocean. No? This really is the only island in the whole wide world. Just this village and the castle, that's your lot. It can make you feel a little lonely sometimes, but that's just the way things are. Now, is that enough to put an end to your dreaming? Not really, sir. Well, you'll find out the truth for yourself soon enough. Don't say I didn't warn you. Now then, shouldn't you be heading home to bed? Tomorrow's the day of the pilchard harvest, after all. Our prize fishing boat Heads off at the crack of dawn, and you're not going to want to miss that. Indeed. It's a statue of a woman with a pure-hearted smile. All right. Can't get in there. Meow, meow. Hello, kitty. Hoping for fish? And five gold. Ah, 
Ah, here's a boat. Boarding a boat without permission is a serious breach of etiquette in Pilchard Bay. So, now going aboard, let's head home. Another medicinal herb. A pot with nothing. There are various drinks lined up on display. Ten gold. Thank you, Mom. Hmm? Hmm. Zzz. It's Davalos's mother, Pearl. Hmm? Davalos, is that you? It's time for bed, young man. Up that ladder with you. You need to be up bright and early tomorrow. Off you! Off you! It's Davalos's father, Pollock. He's fast asleep. Can't examine bags in this one. Now let's head up the ladder. Here's a chest. Davalos's life savings, 110 gold. And here we find a leather hat. We can wear that right away. Three extra defense. And two style. Now then, it's Davalos's bed. Are you ready to turn in for the night? Yes. And progress the story. Wakey, wakey, Davalos. Come on. You can't stay in bed all day. It's the most important day of the year in Pilchard Bay, the day of the Pilchard Harvest. Your father has already headed over to meet Mayor Maid by the jetty. Now get up and get yourself ready, young man. Come on, chop chop. So, time to get ready. Down the ladder. Hello, Mom. All set. It wouldn't do for a fisherman's son to sleep in, you know. Head down to the jetty this instant. Your father needs your help. Very well. Oh, before you go... Take this to your father, will you? You know how he likes his pilchards. Off you go now. Take that sandwich down to the ship and make sure he gets it. Davalos receives the pilchard sandwich. Food for Daddy. So, now we have a pilchard sandwich. Two slices of bread packed with all Pearl's love. And pilchards. Off you go now. Take that sandwich down to the ship and make sure he gets it. Will do, Mummy dearest. Ah, festival time! Welcome to the item shop. How can I serve you? What would you like to buy? A pilchard pie, maybe? A pilchard pie, your customs most appreciated. Thank you, sir. Hey, you. You're a local lad, aren't you? I bet you want to be a fisherman when you grow up, don't you? Sure. Of course you do. Fishermen are the best. I'm not normally even up by this time, you know. But this morning I walked all the way here from Estard. Well, a spot of exercise of every now and then never hurt anyone. Gahaha! Meow. Hello, kitty. No, you can't have my sandwich. We can get in here now. Hello, ma'am. Hello, young Davalos. You'll be off to help your father, I'll warrant. My own son's going to be taking the helm this year. 
Ooh, I couldn't be more proud. We owe your father a lot, you know. Pollock's the greatest fisherman this village has ever seen. I can't wait to see what weird and wonderful fish they bring back this year. My tummy is rumbling already. Nothing there. Nothing there. Barrels over here. And downstairs we find a basement. Couple of pots. A chest. With a seed of resilience. Boosts resilience a little bit. By a random amount. Well, hello. Welcome to Pilchard Bay, our very own seaside paradise. Oh, sorry, Davalos. I didn't recognize you there. Where are you going? Today's the day of the Pilchard Harvest, you know. Everybody's probably gathered on Mayor Maid's boat already. You should get a move on. So, Mayor Maid's boat. Got it. Hello, Nun. Whether you're a fisherman or a humble servant of the Almighty, the Pilchard Harvest is always the most exciting day of the year. I pray that the Almighty will watch over our village's brave fishermen. Well, if it isn't young Davalos, so I imagine you'll be helping your father out today. I can't believe you're 16 already, or that you've grown up to be such a strapping young fellow come to that. I remember the day you were born like it was yesterday. Ah, what a to-do that was. But that's enough reminiscing. It must be almost time for the ship to set sail. You need to get yourself down to the jetty. Don't let your father down now, will you? So, double is 16. Looks a little short. Just hasn't hit his growth spurt yet, I guess. And here in the back of the shop. This chest is locked tight, and I don't think you can ever open it. Never ever. You know, Davalos, your father and the other fishermen are real heroes. I say this every year, but I wish I'd married a fisherman when I had the chance. I wonder how long they'll be out at sea this year. I just pray that my dear hubby and his shipmates make it back in one piece. Hello, young man. Yay! Hooray! It's the day of the pilchard harvest, and that means it's festival time, too. We learned about it at school. Mayor Maid's great, 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 great granddad started it. That's why it's so great. Oh, to sail the seas in a mighty ship like Captain Pollock and his crew. Word is, they're going to venture even further north than usual this year. Hello, pretty tat. Meow. Meow. Hoping for fish, eh? Hello, ma'am. I say it's Davalos. A very good morning to you, young man. You'll be ably assisting your father today, no doubt. Well, bravo. I wish my own dear daughter were as helpful as you, but oh no! She rushed off before breakfast, and I haven't seen the hide nor hair of her since. Honestly, my Maribel will be the death of me. Where in heaven can she be? Yes, her indeed. A rather magnificent model ship stands proudly on display. Lovely. 
I was made to be a maid, and I get paid to be a maid. Um, I pray my looks will never fade. Oh, what are you doing here, Davalos? If you're looking for Maribel, I'm afraid you're out of luck. Drinks on display. Neatly arranged plates, cups, and other crockery adorn the shelves. More barrels and pots. Another medicinal herb. Beautiful! Two gold. A rather piddly amount, but let's go upstairs. What's luck? A hairband. Let's see, it's not for Davalos. In the bag. Davalos gazes into the mirror. He sees a very tired reflection looking back at him. A picture hangs on the wall. Nice picture. Nothing interesting. Davalos gazes into the mirror. He realizes that he didn't wash his face this morning. Uh-oh. Now let's check out the ship. Oh, this fellow. Ah, ah. Ah! Shoo! Gah! That's no good. A sailor should be saying ahoy, not a chew. I came all the way from Bloomin' Estard to train to be a fisherman, but instead of catching any fish, I went and caught this Bloomin' Cold. I'm a disgrace to sailors everywhere. And there's my dad. I respect your opinion, Pollock, but I don't see why we can't just head to the usual fishing spot. When the ocean tells me something, I have to listen. I've been studying the currents and tides, and we need to cast our nets elsewhere this year. A fisherman's job is to follow the fish. Where they go, we go. End of story. You're not wrong, but the thing is... Oh, Davalos, there you are. You've come to give your father a hand, I take it. You took your time, my lad. Now, are you ready to actually do some work for a change? Oh, first things first. Please tell me you brought me one of your mother's sandwiches. I'm famished. Yes, I did, Dad. One pilchard sandwich for you. Davalos hands the pilchard sandwich to his father. Mm-mm. That's the stuff. There's nothing like pilchards in the morning. I can't set sail without one of these in my belly. Chomp chop. Mm mm. Munch munch. Stop staring at me like that, lad. You'll put me off my pilchards. Go and swab the decks or something. Very well. Well, that's that, I suppose. Once Pollock makes his mind up, he doesn't change it for anyone. Still, at least he's a man who takes responsibility for his decisions. I'm sure you'll grow up to be every bit as tough as your dear old dad, Davalos. If you want a bunch of salty sea dogs to stay loyal to you, you're going to have to. Stop staring at me like that, lad. You'll put me off my pilchards. Go and swab the decks or something. Aye, aye, dad. Well, if it ain't young Davalos, your dad's been waiting for you. It won't be long till your first fishing voyage now, will it? Well, learn all you can from your old man, you hear. He's the very best there is. Let's check below decks. A chest. Ah, wayfarer's clothes. 
Nice. Some more defense. There is weaponry on the wall. Hello, sailor. These younger sailors may be stronger and more enthusiastic than us old hands, but there's no substitute for experience. All sorts can happen at sea, so you have to keep your wits about you. One wrong move, and you're in the drink. Another treasure? Well, well, a cypress stick. A twig to play swords with. Davalos carefully studies the map. Let me ask you something, young Davalos. Do you have any idea what I'm going through? Uh, no. Of course you don't. I mean, how could you? Here I am, newly married, and leaving my beautiful bride behind. Oh, sorry. No one could ever understand me heartache and pain. Sorry, pal. Word is, we're heading further north than we've ever been before. Can't wait to see what kind of prized specimens we can head out there. Well, best of luck. Looks like I won't be going. Ah, 15 gold. Not bad. Downstairs. Now, let's see... Uh-oh. I see Maribel. I'll flush her out later. Let's take a look at you, Davalos. Hmm. You're short, you're scrawny, and you don't look like you've done a day's work in your life. You won't make much of a sailor, but if you work on your culinary skills, who knows? Maybe you could follow in my footsteps one day. The important thing is hard graft. Find what you're good at, and keep practicing, till you're perfect. From Pilchard Bay to Estrard Castle, everyone's heard of the mighty Pollock. You should be proud to have such a famous fisherman for a father, Davalos. Now I come to think about it, his brother is just as famous, or should I say infamous. Ah, listen to me. It doesn't do to speak ill of others. Forget I spoke, lad. Yep, my uncle is not the best specimen. We'll see more of him a little later. Now we must break some pots. A chimera wing. That will do until we get zoom. A chimera wing can be used to return to any previously visited location. Some more crockery. Any new... Yes, a fisherman's favorite. It's the day of the Pilchard Harvest, the most exciting event of the year in Pilchard Bay, Davalos's hometown. But our sleepy-headed hero nearly fails to wake up in time. Fortunately, his mother Pearl eventually manages to rouse him from his slumber. Just as he is about to leave, she calls him back and gives him an errand to run. She wants him to deliver a fish sandwich to Pollock, his father, who can be found somewhere down by the jetty. Whipping the ship into shape. Davalos hands over Pollock's sandwich and is told to help get the ship ready to set sail. His first task, to tidy up the ship's hold. Yes. And tidy it up we shall. Something here does not belong. Hello there, Maribel. Shh! Get lost, will you? You're going to blow my cover.
Hello there, Cook. Hey, who's that over there? Well, well, if it isn't young Maribel. Looks like I caught me a stowaway. Gah! Why is it such a big deal, anyway? Why can't you just let me come fishing with you? Go on, just forget you saw me. Please? Did I mention how tasty your stew is? Really, you'll have to tell me the recipe some d Flattery will get you nowhere, young lady. And it certainly won't get you on board this ship. Now get out of here before I tell your father what you've been up to. And as for you, Davalos, I've got a pile of potatoes that need peeling. So sorry, Maribel. Gah! This is your fault, Davalos. I hate you! It's all right for you. One day you'll get to jump on a boat and leave this stupid island behind, at least for a little while. I know all the grown-ups say there's nothing out there except more ocean, but... They're lying to us, and I know it. I'll get you back for this. I'll tell everyone where you and Prince Kiefer have been sneaking off to. I mean it. Sure you will. See you later, Maribel. A woman scorned. <laughs> Davalos goes down into the ship's hold and finds Maribel hiding behind some barrels. Though she pleads with the cook to let her come along on the fishing trip, she is told in no uncertain terms to get herself ashore. Maribel is furious and gives Davalos an earful before storming off. Ah, oh, what a fiery redhead! All right. About those taters. Oh, there you are, Davalos. You took your time. I'm nearly finished peeling these potatoes. Oh, you are. By the way, I couldn't help but notice you getting an earful off young Maribel. Ah, oh, she is a spirited one, that lass. <laughs> Indeed she is. All right. Hey there, Dad. Well, my lad, it's almost time for us to set sail. I know you can't wait to taste adventure on the high seas, but you're still no more than a codling. You'd be more of a burden than a help. Don't be sore now. Keep up the good work, and you'll get there in the end. I know you'll make a fine fisherman one day. You're my flesh and blood, after all. Grahaha! In the meantime, you've a very important job to keep you busy, looking after your mother. Keep the old girl safe while I'm away, you hear? Very well, sir. Way anchor! Hoist the mainsail! Awesome theme as the ship departs. Happy sailing, gentlemen! Rough! Rough, rough! Rough to you too, doggy. Ah! 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 Choo! Gah! That's no good. A sailor should be saying ahoy, not a choo. I came all the way. Poor fellow. Davalos! Davalos! What's up? Oh, hello. Ah, Davalos, there you are. The king requests an audience with you. A rather urgent one, it would seem. You know the way to Estard Castle, of course. Simply follow the path north from Pilchard Bay. Your cooperation in this matter would be greatly appreciated. So, to Estard, eh? Oh, hello, Maribel. 
Heh <laughs> I heard you got summoned to the castle again, Davalos. Lucky old you. Well, guess what? I'm coming too. That all right with you? All right. All right then. Let's get moving, shall we? You can tag along if you want. Come on, Davalos. Let's head over to the castle. What? Have you forgotten where it is? Just leave the village through the gates and follow the path to the north. Any idiot knows that. Come on, Davalos. Let's head over to the castle. And now we have Maribel, the mayor's daughter. Like Davalos, she starts with nothing but some plain clothes. Let's give her her own hairband. There you go, Maribel. Very nice. A royal summons. After watching the ship leave the harbor, Davalos wanders towards home and bumps into a soldier from the castle. It seems the king would like to talk to him about something. The soldier asks him to leave the village right away and head north to Estrard Castle. All right. Hello, sir. The local shop. They have herbs, medicinal herbs, antidotal herbs to cure poison, more cypress sticks, plain clothes, pot lids. Maybe later, sir. Hello, ma'am. So, our fishermen have set sail once again. You know, this time of year never fails to put me in mind of when you were born, Davalos. Your father was away at sea, and your poor mother's tummy started to hurt. She wasn't due to give birth for another four months. We were all so worried. But then out you popped, a big, bouncing, healthy baby boy. You could have knocked me down with a feather. You won't be able to remember it, of course, but your mother and father were overjoyed, as well they should have been. But you're not a little baby anymore, Davalos. Make sure you're good to your parents. They've done so much for you. Honestly, I thought that old lady would never stop talking. I was this close to falling asleep on my feet. But is it true what she said? You were born four months early, but came out big and healthy? You'd never tell by looking at you. You must have got your growth spurred out of the way early. Hmm. Or maybe I haven't reached it yet. Hello. My wife starts grumbling and grouching at me every year when the pilchard harvest comes around. Morning, noon, and night, she asks me the same thing. Why didn't I become a fisherman? I mean, I know we'd be scuppered if it wasn't for those chaps, but there are other things people need besides fish, you know. Grumble, grumble. Meow, meow. Let's check in with Maribel's mom. Hello, Maribel's mom. And where do you think you're going, young lady? It's almost time for your elocution lesson. I'm just going to Davalos's house for a little while. I'll be back soon, I promise. Well, all right, but don't you dare be late. Is that understood? Why are you so keen to stop by and see my mother all of a sudden? You're not trying to ditch me, are you? I've been found out. The maid is not in there. Hello, maid. Zzz. Hmm? Hmm. Taking a nap, eh? Hello, kiddo. My dad's a fisherman. He promised to bring me back loads and loads and loads of fish. I can't wait. 
Ahem, Davalos, haven't you been summoned to the castle? Why are you wasting time talking to small children? Trying to keep me on task, eh? Hello, Mum. Ah, there you are, Davalos. I was wondering where you'd got to. So you've been out playing with Maribel, have you? Hello. Ah, she's so lovely and polite, isn't she? You could learn a thing or two from your friend here, you know. Oh, yes. I almost forgot. Did that guard from the castle find you? Yes, he did. Seems the king wants to speak to you. You'd better not keep him waiting. And mind your P's and Q's. Just because you're friends with Prince Kiefer, that's no excuse to be giving His Majesty any of your cheek. Oh, and take this with you, will you? Davalos takes the parcel from his mother. It's some of my delicious fish bits. I know how Prince Kiefer likes them. Now, off you go. Very well. So, Kiefer's a fan of fish bits, is he? Not exactly food fit for a future king, is it? Still, I can't say I'm all that surprised. So, we now have fish bits. This mixture bag of marine life is Pearl's signature dish. And now the men have all gone fishing, I can have myself a lovely rest. Ah! Come on, Davalos. Let's head over to the castle and leave your mother in peace. Very well. Just a few more folks to talk to. Hello, ma'am. Ah, it's you, Davalos. Your father is so dashing, you know. But he's not a patch on my dear hubby up there manning the helm. Swoon! I can't wait to see what weird and wonderful fish they bring back this year. My tummy is rumbling already. So, that's what I hear. Hello there. Welcome to Pilchard Bay, our very own seaside paradise. Well, if it isn't Davalos and Maribel, it's so nice to see how well you two get along. Bah, me and you. Get on. That lady's really got the wrong end of the stick. Anyway, who cares what she thinks? We need to head north to Estrard Castle. So we do. And now the church. Ah, oh, we're truly blessed to have such trouble-free lives. We owe it all to the Almighty, of course. Still, I suppose it isn't an awful lot of work for him. We're the only island in the world, after all. Ha ha ha! Whether you're a fisherman or a humble servant of the Almighty, the Pilchard Harvest is always the most exciting day of the year. I pray that the Almighty will watch over our village's brave fishermen. Even the nun is excited about the Pilchard Harvest. I don't see what all the fuss is about personally. Give me the hustle and bustle of a big town any day. Come on, let's get to Westard. Which we'll do next time. Ah, Davalos, it's you. Well... It seems our prize ship has set sail safely. I imagine you wanted to be on board, didn't you? Well, all in good time. You have a way to go yet. That said, you're sixteen years old already. If you spend your whole life messing around with Prince Kiefer, well, you'll end up like your uncle. Anyway, I've said my piece. And now we can save. Yes, sir. Absolutely.
Don't tell me you've come to pray for a safe journey to the castle. You don't exactly like to live dangerously, do you? Well, we'll see, Maribel, we'll see. Next time we'll head north to Estrard Castle. This is Herr Otlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.